Portable Laser Obstacle Cleaner Using Tutorial Obstacle Clearing Device Appearance Structure The product consists of three parts, the host, the battery, and the accessories. Open the outer box. Inside, you will find the transmitter head, control panel, tripod, main power supply, and range fender. Set up the tripod. Take out the tripod support from the carrying case. The bottom of the tripod has gear adjustment port tabs. Adjust the angle of the tripod as needed. And finally secure the tripod on the ground. Secure the emitter head. Carefully take out the emitter head from the carrying case. Hold the tail with your right hand. Insert the bottom block into the slot on the mounting board. Once it's in place, press down the latch. If the latch cannot be secured, you can use a screwdriver to tighten the screw. Cable Connection First, connect the data cable with one end plugged into the tail of the emitter head and the other end plugged into the gimbal interface. Next, take out the QBH connector, being sure to press the button while doing so, and then gently remove the optical cable. It's important not to bend the cable during this process, keeping it smooth and unobstructed. Then, press down the protective cover with your left hand, and with your right hand, insert the QBH sleeve firmly into the emitter head. Make sure it's inserted all the way, and you should hear a tick sound. Finally, attach the magnetic head to the tail cover of the emitter head. Connect to the power supply. Pay attention to distinguish between male and female connectors. The male connector should be plugged into the power supply, while the female connector should be plugged into the main unit. Battery power level can be checked using the button in the upper left corner. Ensure that the battery level is at least 530 or higher during operation. After the power supply is connected, you will see the indicator light on the emitter head illuminate. The obstacle clearing device is set up. Obstacle clearing site. The obstacle clearing target is a tree stump 10 meters away. Set up the laser obstacle clearing device. After setting it up, remember to remove the protective cover from the emitter head. Software connection and start of the obstacle clearing device. First, connect to the Wi-Fi network. Swipe down from the top of the screen to access the drop-down menu. Long press the Wi-Fi icon in the upper left corner and find the Wi-Fi network starting with MIFI or LASER. Enter the default password 1234567. After successfully connecting to the Wi-Fi network, return to the home screen and open the targeting system software. Once inside the system, you may need to wait a moment before the screen is displayed. Using a range finder, Measuring the distance between the obstacle and the equipment is crucial. Please note that distance measurement should start from the muzzle, aiming at the target and adjusting parameters accordingly. Input the distance. Use the distance increase or decrease buttons to fine-tune the distance. The more precise the distance measurement, the better the cutting effect. Aiming procedure. Control the turret's movement using the buttons for up, down, left, and right. Rotate the turret until the crosshair is aligned with the target. When initially aligning the target, it's recommended to use the zoom out button, which widens the field of view for easier observation. Once the target is visible, use the zoom in button to magnify the image to an appropriate level. If the target isn't clear, use the focus and zoom adjustments for clarity. For precise targeting, adjust the speed to a lower setting. Commence Obstacle Clearing Before initiating the obstacle clearing process, start the host machine. Check whether the emergency stop button is in the raised position. Turn on the key switch. Press the start button. Once the start is successful, you will hear the fan begin to rotate. Prior to emitting the laser, inspect the speed setting to ensure safety. The gear speed should not be set to high. Adjust it to around the 4th gear. Then, Press and hold the upper right corner's laser emission button for approximately 2 seconds. A warning window will appear. At this point, confirm once more whether the laser emission path is secure. Click Confirm to proceed with the laser emission. 
If you need to stop the operation, simply press the laser emission button again to halt the laser emission. If the software is unable to stop the laser emission, you can directly power off the main machine and exit the software. If you notice a deviation between the laser emission point and the aiming crosshair, you can temporarily recalibrate the operation by dragging the large crosshair at the top left corner. When operating at the same magnification, the marked laser emission point will remain consistent. If you zoom in or out, you will need to recalibrate. Automatic touching. Start by moving the crosshair to the left and set it as the starting point. Then move the crosshair to the right and set it as the end point. Begin cutting with the cutting speed set to low. Adjust it based on the actual conditions on site. And it's advisable to use the third gear. After completing the cutting or if you need to stop the cutting, click on the end cutting button. Commence obstacle clearing. Obstacle clearing completed. Storing the equipment. First, hold down the button to remove the power cord. Second, begin by unplugging the cables. Remove the QBH sleeve and, after pulling it out, wind the optical cable around the main unit and insert it, securing it in place. Then, then take down the quick install plate, place the emitter head into the carrying case, followed by the tripod and other accessories in sequence.